Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen again and welcome to Yummy Adventures. So today we'll be cooking a very yummy chicken teriyaki for my meal prep for this week. So here what we need, some chicken thighs, uh, I, I choose the boneless one, and some salt, we add with some salt, uh, okay, a little bit more salt, salt bay, and some pepper. All right, pepper it up, guys. So put some pepper, put as many as you can. And then the next ingredients we're gonna have is sugar, just a little bit of sugar, not too much, like one teaspoon. And then next we have is sesame oil. So you can use any type of sesame oil. And then we have here the marin, uh, the marin sauce, or just marin. And then we have here is soy sauce. So I use all the time is light soy sauce in my food. But if you have want the darker color, definitely use the dark soy sauce. And a little bit of honey. All right. So let me just open. So I added some honey in here. It's just a little bit hard because this honey is very thick. It's hard to spoon it out. There you go. Use definitely two spoon to spoon out the honey. So just one teaspoon of honey too would be good. So you just don't want too sweet of the chicken teriyaki. But if you want something sweet, why not go ahead more sugar and honey. Now put a little bit of flour, usually cornstarch to make it a little bit thicker. But I didn't have cornstarch, so I have the good flour. And then once every ingredient is there, uh, let's just put a little bit of garlic and ginger. Just two teaspoon of this or more if you want more gingery and garlicky taste. And just after that, you just mix it all together. Make sure all the pieces of the chicken has all the marinade. So it has the, all the soy sauce, the sugar, the salt, the pepper, the marin sauce, the sesame sauce, the soy sauce, the honey. All We'll just leave the marinade for our chicken. And then now let's start cooking, uh, preparing our potato. So first we have to wash our potato. Make sure you wash it with... Uh, water, uh, but I usually wash my potato with my Kagan water 9.5 because sometimes water does not take out all the wax and dirt in the produce. So I wash it with the Kagan water uh, to really take out all the dirt from the potato. All right, next step, let's cut up our potato. Uh, just cut it in this pieces, uh, however you want it. And once it's done, let's marinate. So first we're gonna put our Himalayan salt, not too much salt. And first, then we're gonna put our pepper. Then next we will put, let me see, let me see, our paprika. Yeah, some little bit of dash of paprika. And of course, don't forget the garlic powder. And then that's pretty much it. We'll mix it together. Just take off the ring. Uh, mix, 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 mix. Uh, to mix all the ingredients together. Once that's all mixed, let's put some hmm, oil. So as you can see, I'm using my dispenser, my new oil dispenser. So shake, shake, shake some oil there, and then we'll mix it together again. All right, let's start cooking first our chicken teriyaki. So place with some onions, and just leave it there for a little bit until it is, uh, you know, browning. So once it's brown, let's put now our chicken teriyaki that we just marinated. All right, let's mar mix it together. Uh, make sure that it has all the onions. And that's pretty much it. So let it simmer for a little bit. Uh, to make it sure that it doesn't burn, let's just put a little bit of water. Uh, we don't want it to burn a little uh, while it's cooking, especially because it has sugars and soy sauce. It can easily burn. Uh, and if you want more darker color, I just add more soy sauce to it. Uh, but I just use the light soy sauce and more pepper to have more peppery taste. This is when you adjust all the flavoring. You can put more salt, some sugars if you really, really want to. So here I'm putting more chili, uh, some chili flakes to add in some heat. Not too much heat because, you know, I'm not about that life. So yes, so just make it all together until it is browning. And then we have that thick sauce. Just add a little bit more water, but not too much. As here, I'm going to put a little bit of dark soy sauce to get that beautiful brown 
color on the chicken. The light sauce doesn't seem to make that brown uh, color on the chicken that I really want in the sauce. And here I put a little bit more sugar again to give a little bit of flavoring, uh, especially that I added more water into the mix. Uh, so then let's just lower the heat because we don't want to burn the chicken. As you can see, this is now the result of our chicken teriyaki. It looks very delicious. The, the, the sauce is not as thick. Maybe you could add more cornstarch to it or a little bit of flour if you don't have cornstarch. So just mix them and simmer it until the chicken is fully cooked. All right. So here it is, the chicken is already fully cooked. As you can see, look how tender it is. Easily uh, can be cut with my wooden spoons. And there you go. Such so our chicken teriyaki. Very yummy to eat with, spe especially with rice. But we'll be eating it with our uh, baked or air fried potatoes. Here now, our air fried potato. It's ready now for air frying since we already marinated with all the spices and oil, so let's air fry them. Okay, put as many air fryer in the air fryer you want, and then time to place in the air fryer for 20 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit. Here it is, our potato, and bon appetit, voila! There's our chicken teriyaki with uh, air fried potato and of course some salad. We need some salad, guys. All right, thank you for watching and stay tuned.